What's up everyone, Sergeant Archibald here, and today we're going to do a bit of a different video than we usually do. Um, we're going to be examining two of the most powerful empires in the world, the German Empire and the British Empire. Now, this is going, the information presented is going to be from about the um, early 1900s, around that area. Um, but yeah, from... 1900 to 1914, uh, around that area. But, yeah, let's get into it. First, let's look at population. The German Empire, around 1913, had a population consisting of 65 million people. Its colonial population, with all of its overseas possessions, reached about 80 million people, which is about, which is actually about um, its modern-day population. Meanwhile, the United Kingdom at around 1913 had a population of around 46 million. And at first, Germany seemed like, seems like it might have the edge, but Britain's colonial population was around 450 million, which is not even close. But it is important to take into consideration that the colonial population were not very productive compared to those in the mainland. But still, that is a humongous difference. And now let's look at their respective economies. At around 1913, um, the United Kingdom had about 15% of the world's industrial capacity. This is compared to Germany's 16% of the world's industrial capacity. So at this point, Germany was a little bit more industrialized than Britain. But Britain comes at, on top when it comes to GDP per capita. Britain, at this point, is around 8.6 thousand, while Germany is at 5.5 thousand. But Germany gets a slight edge again in total GDP. Germany standing at 378 billion, and Britain a little under 377 billion. And next we will be discussing the military power of each respective country. Germany had an active army size of about 859,000 troops, and, um, while Great Britain had an active army size of 533,000. It makes sense that Germany has, like, a lot more because of the fact that, you know, Germany was a land-based um, country. It, 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 took, it, it went to war with tons of European countries like France, Denmark and Austria just like a few decades ago when it was still Prussia. And even Prussia, it was a very militaristic nation. But I meanwhile, you know, Britain is an island nation, so they do not really have as much of a need for that. But, as we'll remember, Britain had the Royal Navy, which was the best in the world. Ger the German Navy was the second strongest in the world. They had about 15 commissioned dreadnoughts and 7 battle cruisers, compared to the United Kingdom's 20 commissioned dreadnoughts and 9 battle cruisers. So, and, and again, this makes sense, as they are an island nation with a bunch of colonies all over the world that they need to protect with their navy and stuff. And now we look at size. The German mainland was about 209,000 square miles, which is very impressive compared to the United Kingdom's 122,000 square miles. But, again, you have to take into consideration the fact that Britain had an empire. In fact, it was the largest empire in the world, which started about 13 million square kilometers, about 13 times the size of the German Empire, which is around 1 million squ um, square miles in total. So, which country ends up coming on top? Well, I'll probably have to give this one to the British Empire, uh, mainly because of, you know, they have their gigantic empire to use, and the, and the fact that they have a small edge in the economy. But, yeah, Germany, they definitely had a more powerful army by a lot. They did have 
some areas where they are much better than Britain. So the British Empire is on top, but only slightly, in my opinion. And if they ever went in a, and if they, instead of going in a war alone, I don't even think any of them would come out on top. To be honest, it would just be a complete stalemate, probably with Britain securing the African colonies. And Germany taking some minor areas, and that's pretty much it. But, thank you all for watching, everyone. And make sure to check out my other videos. And, yeah, stay tuned for my new videos, and make sure to subscribe.